Welcome to another video from the farm. Today, we're getting all our top edge weather tight, our floor sealed as best we can, and we're gonna put a door on this thing. And we might also render some of the inside wall. We shall see. As you can see, I've already put down some plastic, and then I've also done a little bit of the insulation just to test that my method was gonna work, and it is. So we can crack on and finish all this off now. Grab this, and we'll crack on. So with the dimensions of this, it comes with like a smaller section, and then a large section, double the width. But it's this smaller section that's primary of use to me. Fortunately, a roll comes with two of these already. It's gonna break them apart. So we'll do that, and start stuffing those top gaps. gloves on for this because fiberglass insulation does tend to itch up the skin and get it itself. Right, that's us weather tight on the roof edge now and the center with a good amount of insulation. So what we're gonna do next then I think is put a door on it. The stockpile's dwindling a little bit. We're down to these old dirty timbers to be making this basic door from. I might replace it at some point, but we'll see how it looks once I've got some sort of veneer front on it as well. Right, let's grab a couple of these out and begin. together from old bits of board and old timbers but we've got a door ready right looks all right for now and we're 100 percent weather tight just got a tiny little bit of air gap around the door now so I'm going to want to end up putting a little window in the middle here and then I'll probably just use this as an actual structure to clap this how I want to make it so it looks pretty. We'll do that another day though. Right, let's crack on with a different job. I think next we'll put the last bit of plastic sheet down. Let's get in here. Just quickly finished off putting the plastic floor in as well. Got it all trimmed off just below the level of the first bag which is the stone. So I've decided I'm actually just going to crack on with a bit of rendering instead. I'm going to try and get this back edge as all sorted as possible. Because this is the edge that I'm most worried about, as it's not quite perfectly uh, flat. There's a little bit of a bow in it, <laughs> in the middle here. So, yeah, I want to get all this done, especially up to around the window, where I'm now going to have a bit of splashback. As solid as possible, ready for some more rains we've got coming in the next few days. Nice. 
So I've got a good bit of this first coat on last night with the head torch. Okay then, got this first bit of the render on the wall, it's not too shabby, that's the first half complete. We're running real low on sand so definitely going to need another bag to be able to do the full outside. So as we're running out of materials I think I'll wrap this video up here, so don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed watching how this is coming together, any comments you've got on the uh, how this wall looks as it is already let me know below too because i actually quite like the way it looks this isn't the finished coat I've got the top coat to get it all smooth to finish but i kind of like the rough pattern let me know what you think right then until next time bye bye